Jerome B. Wheeler, one of the leading citizens of Aspen back in the mining days, built a fine opera house on the top of this Wheeler Bank building, which included clothing stores on the ground level and a tonsorial parlor in the basement. Now, over 800 people packed into the theater for the standing room only gala opening night on April 23rd, 1889. The production, The King's Fool. One of the featured acts, a group of Austrian women, I'm going to guess somewhat scantily clad by the Victorian standards of the time, in a sword fighting exhibition. Who wouldn't pay to see that today? Now, the theater burned twice within nine days showing silent movies in 1912 and remained vacant until it was remodeled in the 1940s and then it was totally restored in 1985 by the city of Aspen, which actually has owned the building since 1918. Operations and productions are funded by a real estate transfer tax and over the years, stage productions, musical icons, titans of the comedy world, and lectures on almost any subject have been held in the building. And the music festival takes over the theater during the summer and produces three full-length operas complete with orchestra. In many ways, the building remains the cultural heart of the city of Aspen.